unfortunately in the world of movies, there's often a lot of tragedies. Tragedies happen. And one of the more large ones and more recent ones has been the tragedy of the fatal shooting of the cinematographer on the set of the Alec Baldwin movie, Rust. Now, you guys will remember that uh, basically Alec Baldwin, they were rehearsing a scene. The director was directing him. You know, it was the director, the cinematographer, and Alec Baldwin. And there was a live round in the gun, and it ended up in the tragic passing of, of the cinematographer. Well, the armorer, the person in charge of fake weapons on set and making sure they're safe before handing them off to actors, was found guilty of negligence and yesterday was sentenced. And they were sentenced to 18 months in jail. This comes just from the folks over at CBS News that wrote the following. The Rust Armor, who last month was found guilty of involuntary manslaughter in the deadly shooting of Helena Hutchins, that's the cinematographer, uh, the film cinematographer, was sentenced in a New Mexico state court uh, today to 18 months in prison. Hannah Gutierrez Reed, that's the name of the armor, received the maximum pe penalty for her part in the 2021 tragedy that several experts have since characterized as a preventable incident, uh, where actor Alec Baldwin discharged live rounds from a prop gun on the movie set during a rehearsal. Uh, Judge Mary Marlowe Summer handed down the sentence to conclude an emotionally charged hearing Monday. So this is a really sensitive complicated, complex kind of issue. You know, I, we were talking about it today and, you know, the, the topic came up that she got 18 months and somebody brought up, wow, only 18 months, you know, you know, somebody died. And uh, look, I feel horrible for everybody who is involved in this situation because make no mistake about it, nobody in this entire scenario, including the armorer, set out to murder anybody. Nobody intended or wanted or desired anybody to be hurt or harmed or anything like that. There was, nobody disagrees. Nobody disputes that there was clearly no intention uh, in this. This is a, a case of, of negligence. And, you know, it's, it's sad to hear, you know, a young woman for making a mistake is going to go to jail for 18 months but it did lead to the death of somebody and her job was a very important job. And the reality is that in the execution of her job, she took a gun that she was responsible for making sure was safe, loaded with live rounds of ammunition, which it was her job to make sure that wasn't the case, then handed that gun, proclaimed it to be cold, which means safe. She announced cold gun, which is a signal to everybody on set. Oh, this gun coming onto set completely safe. Handed it off to the assistant director, leading the assistant director to believe it was a safe weapon. Now, apparently in proper protocol, the assistant director is then also supposed to do a quick check of it. The assistant director has admitted that they did not do that. And then the assistant director proclaimed cold gun, telling the director, the cinematographer, and the actor, in this case, Alec Baldwin, that this gun they were bringing onto set for them to do was completely safe. Nothing. This is just a prop. This is just a toy. There's nothing dangerous about this thing. It's a completely safe thing. From the armorer to the assistant director to the hands of Alec Baldwin. It starts with the armor. That's their whole job. And while I do not wish 18 months in prison on this young woman who clearly never wanted to hurt a fly, she was nevertheless responsible for the shooting and death of the cinematographer because that cinematographer and that director and that actor on set were all told by the person in charge of the weapon that it was completely safe. And as a result of that mistake, somebody died. And, and so, like, to me, there are going to be some people who think she, be, she should be getting five years. I, I, don't, I don't agree. There are going to be some people who think that because it was an accident, she should get nothing. I, I don't know that I agree with that. 18 months, honestly, to me, sounds 
fair. And, and I hope once this is done, while she will never work in the movie industry again, despite the fact that her father, the person who trained her, is a legendary Hollywood armorer who personally trained her, and she had worked on the set of another movie pri uh, previously to this, she'll never work in the business again. Mm -hmm. But hopefully once this is done, she can have a career change and, and try to move on with her life, I guess. Just thinking about this situation, it still blows my mind that this could happen. I mean, uh, it's just live rounds and things like that. I mean, just not even, I, I, it just blows my mind. I, I can't I can't believe something like this could happen. It was human error, obviously. Um, it's unfortunate. It's one of those rare cir circumstances that uh, can happen and shouldn't happen anymore. Guys, we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of today's video, Miracle Made. Did you know that your temperature at night can have one of the greatest impacts on your sleep quality? If you wake up too hot or too cold, I highly recommend you check out Miracle Made's bed sheets. Inspired by NASA, Miracle Made uses silver infused fabrics and makes temperature regulating bedding so that you can sleep at the perfect temperature all night long. When they arrived at our house, my wife Anne loved to feel them so much, she couldn't even wait for me to get home to put them on our bed. Miracle Made has self cleaning. These sheets are infused with silver that prevent prevents up to 99.7 of bacterial growth, leaving them to stay cleaner and fresh three times longer than other sheets. Miracle sheets also have incredible comfort and quality. Miracle sheets are luxuriously comfortable without the high price tag of other luxury brands and feel as nice, if not nicer, than sheets used by some five-star hotels. So go to TryMiracle, that's T-R-Y-M-I-R-A-C-L-E dot com slash Campia to try Miracle Made sheets today. And whether you're buying them for yourself or as a gift for a loved one, if you order today, you can save over 40%. And if you use our promo code CAMPIA at checkout, you'll get three free towels and save an extra 20%. Miracle is so confident in their product, it's backed with a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if you aren't 100% satisfied, you will get a full refund. So upgrade your sleep with Miracle Made. Go to trymiracle.com slash CAMPIA and use the code CAMPIA to claim your free three-piece towel set and save over 40% off. Again, that's trymiracle.com slash CAMPIA to treat yourself it, but here's the here's the part and we were talking about this off camera before the show started today the one i believe there is only one question left like from the beginning this i think the biggest question ever since the day i heard about the shooting the biggest question i have had and the question that nobody has an answer for how on earth did live rounds get onto the set yep. of this movie who brought live ammunition and put it in with what is supposed to be the fake dummy prop ammunition that a mistake like, like again, the armorer should catch that. It's right. the armorer's job. But who put live rounds in with fake rounds in the first? And I've heard nobody suggest yeah, an answer exactly. for this. And not only that, it's like if you know that there's live rounds on the set, wouldn't you be extra careful? I don't care if like the day's too long, the day's going on too long, you want to get home, whatever and that. You're dealing with something that could hurt somebody. So, I mean, why not be extra careful if knowingly you knew that there's live rounds just even you guys even had it live rounds on the set. I I, I don't I, even think she knew. I, there would be no that, reason that, to that, have. That, oh, that no, I, no, no, I'm sure she no. like listen, I'm sure the armor didn't know. No. I'm sure she didn't. Had she done her job and checked the weapon before telling the cinematographer and the director and the actor that this was a cold gun, she should have double checked to make sure that was the case. But somebody, somebody. at somewhere along that that yeah. conveyor belt line, somebody put live rounds in with fake rounds, and nobody is addressing this yeah. question. Somebody's not talking. Somebody knows like, something. I, I think it's still that part's still under investigation. I, I believe, but uh... let's just hope the right people get a, uh, you know punished for like you know in in a way that uh is just to whatever happened and, and, unless and by it's the way. something where it's like manufacturers loaded the wrong boxes you know i don't know i, I mean I, so, but but i mean manufacturers shouldn't be making real bullets and fake bullets that they in the get same place. intermixed with yeah in yeah. the same yeah. in the same and listen i by the way I am not some conspiracy theorist. I'm not suggesting somebody wanted to murder somebody. Right. I'm not saying anybody did it on purpose. I'm not saying they didn't, but I'm not suggesting some kind of right. conspiracy theory well, plot to commit murder. Yeah. I'm just saying somebody somewhere was responsible for bringing bullets onto that set and mixing them in with fakes. I, I, other, I got a question for you. Other than authenticity of a, a, a shot being fired, what would be the purpose of having live rounds on a set? Usually None. none. 
You never. No, they, we, no you never we have never, live rallies. No, oh, okay. we never be there. Oh, then they, oh. I thought something because remember the rookie after this happened. Right. They said, "Oh, we'll no longer have live rounds on." The no, 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 no. They said we're no longer even going to use fake ones. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. they're going to CGI. They, they see now oh, okay. with a show like the rookie. That's that's Nathan Fillion's show. It's a cop show. For those of you who don't watch it, right. Um, they have now for a couple of seasons. They don't even use fake rounds now. They just use post production. They put in the gun sounds in post. They put in the little uh, muzzle flash in post. Yeah. They they don't even use fake rounds. Nobody should be using fake rounds today. Like like a kid, a high school kid in his basement with After Effects in 2010 can do this. There's yes. no reason to have like these things at all. And it's going to be really it's interesting. Tragic. To see what more stuff uh, comes out of this, but hopefully this will bring uh, this really tra sad, tragic case one step closer to closure. Uh, and, and and I do hope again. I, I'm not trying to take it easy on the girl or whatever, but the reality is she never intended to hurt a fly. Mm -hmm. It was not her intention to hurt anybody. She screwed up, and unfortunately, like and here's the reality: when I screw up at my job. You know what the worst consequence is? Ray gets blamed. Ray gets blamed. Yeah. <laughs> no, the worst consequence, <laughs> when I make a mistake on my job, the worst consequence is I accidentally misinformed our audience the release date of the next Star Wars movie. Right. Right? Oh, John, John, you said it came out on May 18th. It actually comes out on October 6th. Oh, see, that's what happens when I make a mistake on my job. Mm. Nothing happens. We all make mistakes in our jobs. Oh, yeah, we definitely do. I... Just oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, so, no, let's, let's, let's say let's, let's call what mistakes? it is, especially Ray. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, like seriously, we all make mistakes on our job. The difference is when some somebody makes a mistake on their job, it means a burger got overcooked. When somebody another person makes a mistake on their job, they they tightened the plumbing pipe a little too hard. When somebody else makes a mistake at their job, I, I don't know, maybe they they put the wrong tire on the front and it should have been on the back and when they were doing tire rotation. When I make a mistake on my job, uh, oh, maybe I said the, the wrong name of the, I, I said the last wrong last name of a Richard actor and I gave the last name of another Richard actor, whatever. We all make mistakes on our jobs. The difference is that when we make a mistake, nobody dies. Yeah, there's no domino effect. Yeah, Usually and so for that, I kind of feel bad for this girl. She clearly made a mistake on her job. I, I, and, and, and so I don't wish anything ill on her. She, is, she does need to be held responsible. She is gonna get 18 months. And so I feel that's deserved, but my heart still goes out to her. And, and you know let's I mean? hope this is the last time something like this happens. Like uh, from, from like things that happen oh, like yeah. this, we have to learn from it and just uh, be better. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, stuff like this shouldn't happen. Stuff like this shouldn't even be possible to happen. It's bizarre. And hopefully as a result with, with producers like the ones doing the rookie now, not even using fakes, hopefully this is something we will never have. Look, I'm Movie sets and television production sets are chaotic environments yeah. with dozens, sometimes hundreds, sometimes thousands of people running around with tons of heavy equipment, weighing in tons with power and electricity, and there are dangers on a set, and there will always be accidents. But hopefully this is a particular kind of accident that will never happen again. Anyway, guys, question is for you. <laughs> What do you think about this? Do you think it, they were kind of hard on the girl? Do you think maybe they let her off easy? Whatever you guys think, jump down to the comments section below and let us know your thoughts. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called the John Campy Show Podcast, available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.